Hello friends, welcome back to Genuine Coder YouTube channel. This is another video in the Java FX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And so far we have completed the book issue and uh, book review, submission, etc. option uh, using material design. And uh, one problem that I found is this awkward space. I mean, when we give entry here, like B100, this is okay. This is exactly what we want. But when there is no data, we have an awkward space, an empty space here. So I want to make use of that space to display something important to the user. So what I have done is I have created a chart here. This is a pie chart. And what this chart shows is the number of books available in the library here and number of issued books so it will show that as a graph and here there are two members in the library uh, and uh, out of these two members one member has one book i mean only one member is having a book so uh, i think this will act as a dashboard to the user and this will show some extra information useful information and uh, the thing is when i enter something b100 that graph will go from there and if i press 100 here then the user is loaded and we can continue with our issue operation so uh, this is what we are going to develop in this video let us create a pie chart and make our ui much more better so I will keep this as a reference and that is my shadow branch. So let us start programming this. The first thing that we want here is there are first we will develop this part then we will go for this. So for this we need total books available and total issued books available. So definitely we have to work from the database end. So going to the database handler the bottom section I am going to write one more method. So I am going to write the method of public um this uh, this was meant to be just for testing so i can remove this code now so i'm just removing that so here <coughs> public void oh no we need an observable list so here first we need an observable list so observable list and the observable list should contain pie chart dot data so i already created a, a tutorial about using this uh, pie chart so if you have some doubt with using pie chart first go and watch that video just search for java fx pie chart and you will find it so pie chart dot error it should contain pie chart dot error then get book <coughs> graph statistics so statistics. or simply it is uh, no yeah anyway we will give that name so there is uh, a forgot to add so that's okay now let us do the coding so first we need an observable list yes so observable list of pie chart dot data then i am going to name it as data then using fx collections i can create an empty array list so uh, observable array list so, so that part is okay now we need two queries for fetching these two data there are two counts one total books and uh, one to total issued books so string query one equals select count star from book this will fetch the number of rows from the table book then we need one more query few you two and here i want to fetch that from issue so this every entry in this book will be unique so we don't have to use a distinct keyword or something and here also for every book there will be one uh, if it is issue there will be one issue entry so this also will work fine so what i need is i need a result set object result set rs equals then i can use execute query method available in this uh, which we use very often so here i am going to pass my first query so q1 then uh, what i'm going to do is if there is data rs.next if there is no data that sh i should throw an exception or something i will think about it later so if there is data i want to fetch that in the integer variable so int count equals then i can fetch it using rs.get in and here i can give one so if this first column counts down there is only one column so i will get that data here so this will throw some exception definitely so i have to make use of try catch so let me add that in a try catch block What's the problem here? Unreported SQL exception. Where is the? Okay, I will put the try catch. I can't auto generate it right now. I don't know why. So try catch exception e 
then we will print the position stack trace. So, so far so good. We have this part. If rs.next in the count, now we have to add this in your observable list. So that can be done using data dot add. Then here we have to create a new pie chart of that object. So it is pie chart dot pie chart dot data. Then here I can give a name and a double value. So here I am going to uh, let me just look at this. And so we need total books and issued books. I will. Uh, talk about this too later. I mean, how to add this uh, number of books and issued books discount here. So, first let us give total books and issued books. So, I am going to give total books. So, this will give me total books information. So, that part is okay. Then I can just copy and reuse this code for second query execution. So, RSC equals execute query, which will fetch number of issued books. And from that, I will fetch the count and then I will give. Here is show books so far so good then we will return this observable so the backend for the graph is okay so far now what I do is I want to go to my main section so here I have a main or file and I want to make some changes there first so uh, this is again as I told you this is an error it should be black but uh, it is white now so in order to get rid of that we just have to change something so if I change like uh, book ID to book I it's taking a little bit of time actually I have an i7 7th generation system and it is still slow <clears throat> so the book ID is okay so that's it now if you click here then we have these text boxes that is a B box so everything that is shown here is shown in this B box now I'm going to right click on this and wrap that in a stack pane so so that I can add more entries there. So stack pane it is now wrapped inside a stack pane and I am going to give a name an ID for the stack pane. So let that be book info container. So I'm going to give that name and here also uh, we will think about uh, take that later. So let us first complete this part book uh, chart part. So, uh, just confirming it is book info container and coming back here in the .xml and to making controller. So, it will create book info controller. So, uh, a new stack pane is created. So far, so good. Now, we have to add our chart inside this book info container. And like uh, initializing drawer during startup, now we have to initialize our graphs so i'm going to create a method init graphs and uh, alt enter then enter so that method is created so we have that method now what i want to create it i want to create a pie chart so pie chart can be easily created using pie chart pie chart equals new pie chart but the problem is i if i create a local variable i can access this from for many other purposes uh, from other parts of the program so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this as a global variable so let me create that here so let us put that here so we have pie chart then that pie chart uh, what should we give a name what name should we give i'm going to give book graph so or book chart book chart so i'm giving this name book chart and coming back here i have book chart then i want to set data so book chart dot set data and the data can be fetched from our data handler so database handler dot get book graphics statistics so we got the method and we set the chart to this so that part is okay now we will implement some uh, uh, refresh option and on first let us run the program and check whether it is so far working so GC root. So there is an exception. Let's see what's the problem. So uh, caused by null pointer exception. Then here we have book chart I access. So the problem is we just created a variable and I forgot to create an instance of the book chart. So book chart equals new pie chart. So that part is okay. So instead of setting this data explicitly, I can simply pass it as a variable so it will construct based on that. 
so that we find book chart equals new pie chart now let us run the program dc root now there is no exception but uh, the chart is not there so <clears throat> now the problem is we have been added that chart in your container so that is the next step right so for that i forgot the name again what we gave for that container so i think it is booking for control uh, container so booking for container dot get children dot add now we are creating a pie chart and adding that into this container so now that is uh, now the chart is created and the chart is add, added into our uh, stat pane so this should work so let me check it so coming back here we got these two uh the css issue is there so except that we got a nice and beautiful chart here now let us go and style this one so our target is as always this one we i am using the fx blue color which is this blue and this fx secondary color and no other extra colors are added so what we have to do is we have to style these two regions and this total books i mean this label chai part uh, pie chart label so i am going to the resources section then dark theme.css which is our one and only C css file so coming here i am going to create one more class before that i am going to add a comment chart style and here i want to add the css entries so in order to style this part these two components we have to use this class that is dot data zero dot chart file so this will help us to style the first part this part then uh, similarly we can specify that for data one also so first we will do this so in order to set the color fx pi color can be used so fx pi color and i am going to set that to fx secondary our uh, or fx blue something so fx secondary is set then i am going to set the border color now i will show you the requirement of border color after doing this so we have data zero chart pi and data one chart pi then here i am going to give the color as fx blue so our blue color should come here then we need to style the label so chart by label so i am going to create that then here i want to set the text color so fx fill can be used and here i am going to set it as fx secondary which is our nice and good looking yellow color so so far so good let us run the program there is uh, okay let us run the program once more gc root so that's it we got this total books and issued books now we can do some more programming and easily add the value i mean how much percentage is this or how much percentage is this but i found a relatively simple solution for this for that what i am going to do is in, in here data handler i already have that count in order to show that count i don't want to waste any more cpu i just have to add here this entry so i am going to add that count here then adding a closing bracket so this will do the trick this will add the count so whenever the count changes anyway if it is changing we are fetching that from this graph so that's that's okay so the counting part is okay let us run, uh, run it once more i don't think we have to keep the reference program running now because uh, we have reached that point let let me run the program once again <coughs> so gc so as you can see we got the total books too and uh, uh, out, uh, in that we have issued one book so so far so good the only thing that is remaining is this border color this border color is white and it is kind of pixelated so it is not good, looking good at all so what i am going to do is i am going to add one more entry that is fx background color so the background color what i am going to do is i am going to derive a darker color from the uh, <coughs> existing color so from the fx secondary color i am taking a 30 percentage darker color using my drive option so i hope you know about this because i use this a lot in a lot of places so you should be knowing this so i am deriving from a 30 percentage darker secondary color and i have to repeat that for 
here I made that mistake, right? It's a, no, it's okay. Uh, here also I want to paste it, but here what I need is fx back. No, if it is not background color, it is border color, fx border color drive. Sorry about that. I need fx border color. So here I am going to set the fx border color. Then here instead of secondary, I need blue color. So what I'm trying to achieve is uh, I am uh, trying to achieve a large, uh, I mean a dark color of this one. Uh, I will show you that in a moment. Uh, no, the instance is already running. So, okay. Uh, let me log in first. If you see root. Then as you can see, we got a nice here. We have a darker yellow border and here we have a darker uh, blue border so so far so good that is working so uh, <coughs> that's it guys uh, in the next upcoming video we will implement the member graph and later we will implement the refreshing of this one we have to refresh the data right so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos